In this video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot any issues you might run into when using the Yolobox Pro with the Atomos Ninja 5. In my initial first impressions video, I got around the Yolobox not accepting a signal from the Atomos Ninja 5 by using my Hollyland Mars 400S Pros to introduce the Eded Handshake. This is not a practical solution for everyone, so I wanted to come up with a better solution, and I have. The solution is an Eded emulator. It hard codes, depending on which one you have, a 1080p or 4K EDID handshake, telling the Atomos product that this is a 25 frames a second 1080 or 4K source. To output a signal from the Yolobox Pro to the Ninja 5, this is what it looks like before connecting the EDID emulator. There is no signal on output. It tries, but there isn't one. And now with the EDID emulator. The full signal is interpreted at the program output of 1080p 50 frames a second, as this is what the Yolobox hard codes its output at. The EDID adapter can be used at either the Yolobox end or at the Atomos end, the result is exactly the same. The biggest one is using the Atomos Ninja 5 in conjunction with another camera and looping that signal into the Yolobox Pro. To do this, connect the HDMI cable with the EDID emulator to the output of your Atomos Ninja 5 or at the Yolobox end, and you'll get a full signal come through, no dropouts at all. If you want to run a longer cable, say using SDI instead, then the EDID emulator does work when used in conjunction with SDI adapters, such as the Blackmagic HDMI to SDI. Here I'm running this into the Atomos Ninja 5 using the SDI module. And once again, we have a full signal with no dropout. Sometimes we're going to need to output the Yolobox's HDMI display to multiple sources. This is the HDMI splitter which I have found works. You need to ensure that when you're using this as an HDMI splitter, that the two outputs are set in 1080p mode, so it scales it down. It's not technically scaling it down, because it's a 1080p signal going out, but you need to tell it it's a 1080p signal in order for it to pass through the data correctly. And then your Atomos device will still receive a full signal with no dropouts. If you've got any questions about any of the methods that I used in this video to solve the problem of using the Atomos Ninja 5 with the Yolobox Pro, uh, please leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And once again, thank you for watching.